It's another milestone in uh, the rapidly evolving construction here at Rogers Place. Truck by truck, the concrete flowed down over the mesh into perfectly groomed rows. There's an awful lot of engineering that went into this. Uh, a lot of time and attention was, uh, was put to getting this right. On Thursday, the concrete was laid for the ice slab, two weeks early and just shy of the arena's two-year construction anniversary. 320 cubic meters of concrete is being used on this project alone. That is 40 cement trucks or the equivalent of half a kilometer of standard city sidewalks. The slab is a perfectly flat eight inches deep. Pouring concrete is about precision and patience. And according to the King of Ice, Dan Craig, this here is a perfect pour. Edmonton, we've always been the best. We will always be the best. And that's the way, that, that's the way it is. Dan created the ice for the Oilers for 11 years of his long established career. You know, I've been to all the National Hockey League rinks, plus we've done all the outdoor games, plus we've been over in Europe and we've been to Japan. But nothing compares to coming home to work on Edmonton's biggest and best project. I'll be back. I'll be, I will definitely be in this building in the future, there's no doubt about that. The new slab, now sitting front and centre, is unlike most other slabs in the league. This one is elevated. The big difference here is this is sitting on a structural slab, so there's a parkade underneath. It's one of very few in the NHL. I said from the very beginning that this is not just about us, this is about our children and our grandchildren and what kind of city that we're going to leave uh, to those that follow us. Under the concrete you'll find the mesh and then 10 miles of cooling pipe which will create the ice surface. There's about 129 zones, so it's a very elaborate, very expensive and it's the best of the best as far as cooling systems go. At any given time, there's 500 to 1,000 people working on various projects around Rogers Place. This one took around two dozen. 12 hours to place the concrete, and they'll be going for another 12 hours past that to do the final finishing and polish it out. Another item to cross off the list, making way for what's left to come. Another milestone after this is we're going to start putting up the dasher boards. That's a month after it's cured for a month, and you're, we're going to start to see the scoreboard get erected in the middle. For Oilers TV, I'm Jessica Kent.